Joining us on phone now is Dr. Archibald Lecher. He is a Voter Regional Minister to speak on this matter. Good evening, Doctor, and thank you for your time. Well, I understand the line has dropped. We'll be working it out again to try and reach him out. Dr. Archibald Lecher is a Voter Regional Minister. And we understand there was some dissect meeting today. We want to find out what exactly they discussed, what decisions they took, and how to meet the demands of the youth who are saying the police have not been really very helpful in that area because they are under incessant attacks. Let's see if we have Dr. Archibald Lecher now on the phone and um, to put a few questions to him and try and find out what exactly uh, um, took place at the DISEC meeting today. Good evening, Dr. Archibald Lecher, and uh, welcome to News 360. Good evening. Good evening to your viewers. All right, uh, Doctor, uh, I hope everything is well where you are. Yes, the very safe. Great. We understand there was a dissect meeting today. What transpired at that meeting? Thank you very much. Um, you know, you, you, we, are, we are all aware of what happened in South Africa yesterday. Uh, at the end of the day, reason prevailed and uh, everything was calm. So yesterday we asked the dissect to meet and they were able to meet last night to review what happened yesterday and to brief us this morning. So we arrived in Soka Coffee this morning about nine o'clock. I had a very fruitful meeting with DICEC. I was there with the, some of the members of the regional security council. We had a very fruitful meeting. And then we decided to go and visit the, um, the bereaved family, uh, the, the, the family of, of the young man who was shot dead uh, at Sunday dawn. So, we went to the village not far from Sogakope, and we were very well received. Everything was fine. Uh, and then we, we went together with the father of the deceased to the hospital to visit the widow who, is, who was injured during the attack, and also the little girl who had parents removed from a scar. Uh, so from there, we went to the crime scene. We wanted to inspect the crime scene, that the home of the deceased. Then we realized there was massing up of young people on motorbikes clad in red and uh, they were actually threatening and very disorderly and, 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 uh, and, and not well behaved at all. So we retreated and went to the police station. From the police station we, uh, we, we spoke to the station officer, went to the DC police uh, command, the divisional police command, and then decided to have a meeting at the residence of the DC. So we got there, and the youth were demanding to meet with us at the assembly. But they were not behaving themselves very well. So we said we're going to meet the leaders and the chiefs and the queen mothers and opinion leaders uh, at the residency to find out from them what actually was causing the agitation. It was at that time that we were informed that they had blocked the road again, they were burning ties, and then they were going to attack the police station. So we, we also mobilized our troops, our men, and uh, they got to protect the police station. Uh, damage was done to a lot of vehicles. Uh, they have petrol bombs and all kinds of things at the police station. And we have to involve the military to, to clear the road mm. so that uh, people can have a, a easy easy movement between Accra and Aplau. Right. So that is what, what we did. And we had a meeting which was very fruitful. And the agreement was that we all exercise patience for the security agencies to investigate the murder, and we appeal to them to cooperate with us. Mm. And we also offered an award, a reward of 10,000 series to anybody who is able to provide us with credible information leading to the arrest of the perpetrators of the crime. Okay, so, Doctor, so, so we yeah. understand some soldiers were brought in to maintain peace. Are they still around? Yeah, we have a combination of security forces on the ground, even though we have been assured by the chiefs and opinion leaders that what happened yesterday and today will never happen again. But we don't want to take chances. So there is security presence on the ground, monitoring the situation, and we are in constant touch with them. Mm. So, so uh, were you somehow able to listen to the youth and find out what their problem is? I, I, I know the situation was quite chaotic, but then uh, did you make any attempt yeah. at all to listen to them? Yes, I, I made an effort. They were part of the meeting we held at the residency. And uh, even they do address the press together with uh, some of the leaders of the youth group. 
All right. So we are grateful, Dr. Archibald Lecha, Voto Regional Minister, speaking to us about the disturbances that happened over the weekend in the Sogakope area.